Hi, I'm Brian with Sweet Garden Organics. We're going to show you how to take care of an aphid problem. I'm going to show you an extreme example of an aphid infestation. We're going to use our Natural Guard neem oil. This is a ready-to-use product. Simply shake it up. Uh, it is an oil-based product. It comes from the neem tree. This is 100% neem. And if you buy it in bulk, you can mix it two tablespoons per gallon. On cucumbers and squash, you want to mix it one tablespoon per gallon because it can burn the leaves. Also, trees are susceptible to too much uh, neem also. So make sure you follow the directions uh, as specified on the can. Or if you buy it from a health food store, it's two tablespoons per gallon no more, no less. The whole plant has a, a sugar content over the entire leaves of it, and that's because of literally millions of aphids have gone in here. If you turn over the leaf, you can see can you, where there's just thousands of aphids here. Now, the aphids will kill this plant in about 10 days if we don't take care of it right now. It's showing very little stress right now other than the uh, the sugar content coming to the surface, that's that shiny haze that you see on the plant here. Now these little, uh, they look like little white specks on the leaves. These are actually seed pods or uh, egg pods that are getting ready to hatch. This will go from a million aphids to 10 million in just a matter of a few days. So we're really catching this at the right time. You just want to spray it on the on the outer leaves to catch these egg pods. This will dissolve them. And then underneath the leaves, we're gonna to have to hit them here too. Now, if it comes to the point where we can't control this, uh, these will affect the entire garden and gardens around us here. So uh, if we can't knock this down, probably the best thing to do at this point is to go ahead and cut this plant down. We don't have to kill it, but we need to cut it down enough so we can control this infestation. So literally every leaf is going to have to be sprayed on the underneath side and uh, and kill the, uh, the adults or actually the juveniles that will turn into adults that will become airborne and these will affect the entire garden. Now I noticed down here low we don't have quite the uh, infestation that we did up on the upper part of the plant. So it may not, well, this one has it pretty good too. So literally we're gonna have to go through here and spray every single one of these leaves to be able to knock this problem down. Now, regardless of what the uh, instructions say on there, this is a fairly tough plant. You can do this every six days to control it. If you do it every six days, then you'll break the cycle of the insect and they, you can rid them completely. If you wait two weeks, um, it'll give enough time for eggs to be hatched in different places of the garden and you'll never, you'll never get rid of them. They'll just constantly be coming back at you. So let's just go ahead and finish this up. And we probably don't have enough uh, <laughs> footage in the film box for me to do the whole plant, but you probably get the idea of what we're doing here. And what this will do is it'll dis actually dissolve the, uh, the insect with the oil. And if you mix it properly, you will not get any burn on the plant. So I'm surprised that we don't see any uh, ladybugs in here. Generally, when you get this kind of infestation, you will see uh, ladybugs in here. Now I noticed a bee flying in. If you see a bee, it's probably a good idea not to spray or wait till the bee leaves. Uh, you could potentially harm the bee with the neem. Uh, um, and that's only with the direct hit. If they land on it after you spray it, they're fine. But if you spray it on, their, on a bee when it's flying, it could damage the wing, which would uh, harm the, the bee. It's not going to bring anything back to the hive to harm the other, the other bees. Though. So this is a very uh, safe... Uh, organic insecticide and it won't harm you. Uh, some people use it as a skin uh, softener. It's very, uh, very organic. Anyway, I've got my work cut out here, so we'll go on to something else now.
One of the side effects of Nemo, though, is if you get too much on your skin, you tend to turn invisible. <laughs> and guts. Uh...